always worthwhile identifying the invertebrates in your garden. Not all of them will leave obvious clues. So use the time while you're out in the garden observing what your neighbours are, the creatures that scuttle, creep, crawl and fly through your garden. It really pays off. I've been keeping a list of all the invertebrates that visit my garden and by keeping a list I can work out which are my friends and which are my enemies. There are 500 different animals that visit my garden and I can reassure most beginner gardeners that the majority of those are harmless biodiversity. They don't even need seasonal control. There are three main types of invertebrates. Chewers, like caterpillars. They make irregular holes in foliage or stems that can look like window panes or they can even remove entire leaves. Piercing mouth parts, which belong to stink bugs and mites. Their handiwork includes discoloration, mottling or dead spots and curled leaves. Rasping mouth parts, which belong to pests like slugs and snails and leave behind bleached and dry leaves and soft tissue that tears easily. So by playing detective and identifying the culprit that's eating your plants, you can then work out the best way to treat it. Not only is keeping a list and taking photos a fun hobby, it will make you a better informed and prepared gardener.